hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel i'm rashada my channel is rashada.makemeover so i want to thank you guys so much because as you see by the title of this video we are celebrating 1k all right i want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel you all mean so much to me and in this video we are going to celebrate because we all are winning around here okay so for this as you can see I got the balloons up because it's a 1K, okay? So we're going to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate with a makeup look. So, and I got some ice cream. I had to steal some from my husband. This is his ice cream, Belle Pecan. So I ain't have no cake, but I'm going to celebrate with some ice cream. A girl loves ice cream, okay? So, let's light the candles. to 1k and i love each and every one of y'all to 1k a mm -hmm. delicious all right let's get into some makeup okay let's put on some contact do y'all like my hair because i tried to do this look right here and baby i got this hair from amazon and she is not now the quality of this hair is really really good like it's human hair and i ain't pick, and i don't think i paid more than 20 something dollars for it i really like the quality of the hair um i'm sure if i'm a little calm so i kind of calm it up let's see the one right at the head go so I wanted to like, oh, this is a piece of hair. Now, the only thing I didn't like, the only thing I did not like about this hair was that um, it is not as long as the picture shows. I don't know if the girl added some hair to it, but this is how it look in the back. And then I added this little piece right here. So that's how, that's how it looked in the back. But y'all, I'm so excited for this video. I hope y'all are too. I got me a new vanity too. I would show y'all, but it's kind of like <sighs> a tornado came through here. I want y'all to see it, you know, all sparkly. I want to do this look right here. I found it on um, Pinterest and it's from the creator. Her name is uh, Nazara, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Girl, if I sit around, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I really, really love her work. She is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And her art is just amazing. Amazing. But yeah, I want to do that look today. I just think it'll be like perfect because it kind of like, you know, shows off my creativity. So let's get started. So we're gonna use our e.l.f. primer. Why, why not? But this is like my go-to primer. As you can see, it's almost down. So it's part of my empties, a big part of my empty empties for this month. Um, I've never done an empties before. Should I do something like that? Let me know in the comments below. Like, what do y'all wanna see? Cause y'all are quiet. Y'all are quiet and y'all remind y'all of me because I'm quiet and I be asking y'all like what y'all want to see or whatever and don't nobody say nothing I'm like do they like me I know y'all like me because y'all be y'all be liking my content and I love y'all for that I do I do I love y'all so much but yeah we got our primer on now oh, you saw my sticky elf is sticky so this has been the my, my go-to moisturizer. Do the guys? This one I've been using a lot lately, and so I just put some on. And I also use um I alternate between this and my Beauty Stack moisturizer. So um, that's what I reach for first. So that's what we're gonna use today. So we got on top of our primer 
let's go ahead in with some eye cream i reach for this verify verify and it is uh 2020 eye cream that's what that is add this to it i'm gonna try not to like hold y'all be like oh it's taking me so long but like, yeah beauty takes time okay if anybody ever tries to rush you like girl beauty takes time okay i'm gonna go with anastasia beverly hills and this is the brow gel i am so glad that ipsy put this in my box last month y'all last month's box was amazing ipsy and um, boxy charm had a bunch of nice stuff in there for uh february so it was amazing but yeah y'all catch up with me let's catch up um, i have not um posted like a long form video in a while so i think we need to do a little catch up um i'm trying to think where did we leave off okay y'all since our last video we moved and we moved to a new place we moved from our house to an apartment and yeah i decided to do another youtube channel because i feel like i really want y'all to know who i am but i feel like doing it here on my makeup channel is kind of like you know what i'm saying i wouldn't be able to showcase who i really am like and showcase my beauty i feel like it'll be like too much clutter if you know what i'm saying so i decided to make a new channel and i'm gonna list it down in the description of this video um so y'all can go check me out make sure you subscribe there as well and you'll get to see like my lifestyle and me period um in my family and everything and what goes on in my life my channel is called rashada's reality so yeah if y'all want to just be tuned in with my reality of my life as a stay-at-home mom check out that channel as well now i'm gonna go in with my set it up which is a translucent setting powder and y'all i got these little sponges from my amazon storefront oh my god y'all they're pink i um one was pink and then black we got black and pink coming back i think it's like six all together but i have it listed below also where y'all can get it but they were like very inexpensive and i was like this is so cute pink powder puffs <laughs> like so super cute Putting it in so my eyebrows won't be so greasy, you know what I'm saying? Like you like coating some chicken. Now we're gonna go in with our brow pencil. Is this the color I use? Nope. Okay, so I found it. This is what I've been using on my brows, and it is the 24 hour waterproof eye pencil from Persona boom i got this cute little workout outfit what i got on now from she in and i'm gonna do a um i'm gonna do a little cute little video of my haul to let y'all see what it looks like fill in these brows like this this i've tried to adopt a new way to do my eyebrows because It seems like the way I was doing it, I didn't like how they would turn out so boxy and everything this way. And I kind of like it because they look more natural. I think I am learning who I am. Like, have y'all ever went through a phase in life where, like, it seemed like no matter how good you do, it's like you're always being tested like somebody always pushing your buttons or saying you did something to them and you didn't and you gotta prove yourself like prove your character that's like out of all the years i've been on this earth like i've never felt so tried in my life 
like I've just been going through a few things that I feel like could have been avoided and I've really been like I feel like I've really seen like who's who who is rocking with me who's rocking with me who's gonna be down for me in, in my corner because it seemed like when you start to like pull yourself back or isolate yourself from the world or from certain people they show their true colors like big time like in the crown box like they stand out like real 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 bad i feel like god has tested me i've been praying like i've been praying for discernment have y'all ever prayed for discernment and God actually shows you things? Like, I've been praying. I've been seeing angel numbers like crazy. Like, I'm I'm serious, y'all. Like, I've been seeing angel numbers so bad. I never knew what angel numbers meant until, like, the past year. And then I figured out also that angels number angel numbers mean that god has sent angels to watch over you and those are the angels like actually like hey girl whatever you just thinking about or you're just doing you know what i'm saying you need to concentrate on that so you can better your situation or better your life and i'm still trying to get used to that because i'm like what what are y'all trying to tell me like what give me some more hints be more direct y'all also vowed to stop cursing <laughs> it's not working so good my kids have to remind me and my kids be like mom you just cussed and i'm like girl i'm a work of art <laughs> i'm growing up like our parents well not parents really but our aunts and uncles really thought and cousins older cousin whatever thought it was funny to hear little kids curse so yeah like we'll be laying it down baby like close where i close where you swear like we was born this way y'all i'm moving too fast i ain't showed y'all anything i just did let me blend this in but i just what i just the lighter color i put l um, this is the Camo Elf, which is a bright color. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me. I think this is Caramel. Yeah, Caramel number 40. No, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm just moving. I am moving. I'm trying to... I need to put some more um, brightness on this lid. Because I want my color to really, really show. I've been trying my best to get like my makeup looks to look good. And um, it seemed like I, I don't know they're getting better, but I feel like I'm still in the amateur the the amateur level. Like I want to be great. As long as I strive for that, I will be great. You know what I'm saying? I want to get so good. You know what I'm saying? The brand start to notice me. Um, I'm being able to get offered to go on trips and stuff like that because believe it or not you guys like i've only been to georgia florida and alabama my whole life i haven't went nowhere and i was just telling the kids like even in school like i was such a homebody person like i ain't even never i never skipped school like skip school skip class or nothing whatever it's called skip day i never went on spring break like you know how the kids are like go go on spring break and stuff like that go somewhere like i never did any of that so i would love to travel before i die like that's better that's that's on my bucket list you better believe that so but i'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on this is maybelline fit me and it is in shade what 356 y'all know me y'all know me but this is what she looks like so i'm just gonna get my brush and dab it into the um foundation i'm gonna work it in our skin you know just get it in there real good 
Get down to the neck. Get your chin real good. See how like when she started start like putting on, on coverage, makeup coverage, like you just start looking like a whole new person. Like, like girl, she was not looking like that five minutes ago. Like, you just start looking like somebody totally different. But anyways. I'm gonna just get it. I ain't gonna do like the top of my brows. But I usually like get it and like do the top of my brows. But I mean, my bangs is right there. So it's kind of like pointless to do that. Y'all, oh my god. I got this from Walmart the other day Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken. It, it is, it says 24 hours coverage, 5 in 1 concealer. It is shade 0 0.8 Z. I'm sorry, 0 0.80 is the shade. And y'all, this is so pretty. This is a pretty color. You want a deep brown color? Y'all seen this hack where you gotta get it and just go up there like that? Oh no, I'm like that. Oh no, I I'll do it in a separate video. The heck, whatever. Oh, I think I got some on my hair. I can't really tell. It looks like I got some on my hair. But ain't new. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit right there. I'm just bring it down. It spreads like butter. It's pretty good, baby. But I like this shade. It's so pretty. It is so pretty, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. And then and use the applicator. That's the applicator right there. I like it. I like it a lot. And we're going to blend out the um, contour. Like so. Oh, yeah. Girl, I jumped off that topic so fast, like I was jumping out of pool or something. I'm just trying to focus on me. I need to focus on me. I need to focus on my craft. I need to focus on bettering myself because I have been in this situation where, like, I've lost myself. And like y'all know, like you've been into a, like a relationship or um, even like anything work or anything like that. Like you be so caught up in it. So you just lose sight of yourself and then it's just like years been on flu by years months or whatever like that and then you just look up and realize you ain't even accomplished half of anything and you close to death then we're gonna blend this in and it's so pretty it is so pretty but that's my nose contour right there. Now I just gotta put on my concealer. Right, I'm gonna make it with a caramel for Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm gonna put it up under my eye. And basically I'm just trying to get the base out of the way because it's gonna take that eye look a little minute. Y'all, I really was not expecting to hit 1k so soon because let me tell you like I didn't really take it serious because um I started the channel in 2000 and when did I start my channel I think in 2018 and then I was just post here and no it wasn't it wasn't 2018 what am I talking about I started in 2020 I think 2020 I started a channel and I didn't like post anything or whatever like that I'll post here and there and what else and so like after COVID I was just like I'm just gonna try to start being more consistent or whatever and then I saw how one of my videos blew up from um, the Doja Cat video, a Moo Cow video. And so that made me want to be more serious. I saw that I got like a lot of views on my shorts from it. And so 
I started started posting like almost every day or every other day. And that's how that helped me gain um, more followers or subscribers that way. Um, just by reaching a newer audience from the shorts. And the only thing now I gotta work on is my watch hours. Um, so that's been my struggle, just my watch hours, because I think you need like four, 3,000 watch hours. No, I need 3,000 more watch hours or something like that. But I think you have to have a total of 4,000 watch hours. And uh, yeah, but I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get monetized and I'm gonna get there. But my advice to you all is to just post, you know what I'm saying? Create your content and post. Set a schedule. Don't try to overwhelm yourself. And if you have, um, if you have like videos, like if you do TikTok or Instagram videos, you can reuse those and just put them on your shorts, on your YouTube shorts or create videos and post your long form videos or whatever. But don't count yourself short. Like, what is it like? Oh, this video flopped. You know how many videos I have on my page that barely even reached 50 um, views? <laughs> but that Doja Cat video, like, it sat there for a minute before it even, like, caught wind of any fire. Like, then once it caught we and one thing about YouTube is that YouTube replays people's videos. So it's not like TikTok or Instagram where your video only got played like once to go around and then they say, oh, nobody watched it. So we're not going to play it no more. Unless they go to your page and click on it. But YouTube will replay your videos, which is great. Um, but once it like started like catching wind or whatever, I was like, I can do this. I can do this. I ain't gonna lie, like there's a lot of times where I get discouraged. Um, I don't want to post a lot because I'm being my feelings. And so like if I don't feel like it, I feel like. It's going to show in my video. And I don't want it to look like I got an attitude or I'm sad or anything like that. So I just decided not to post. But I think I go about it all the wrong way with that. Let me spray my face first and blend this concealer out better. Um, I got this setting spray as well from my Ipsy's, um, Ipsy and Bossy Charm uh, Beauty Box from last month. And it's called Mo Beauty Set It Up Setting Spray. And it smells so good. It smells really good. It smells like men's cologne. Blend this out some. Alright. I'm gonna blend the edges in. Oh shoot. Where's that side of it? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so I was reached out to I was reached out to by um J Lo's team, J Lo's PR team, and they wanted me to um be on their PR team to do a beauty box. So I received a PR beauty box from them. Okay, so it's from J Lo. Yeah. So you don't see it before TikTok, Instagram, all of them. Oh, this is so cute. It says, beauty has no expiration date. That's so cute. Okay, it came, it came with a card. It says JLo. JLo Beauty. All right, and to be youthful and timeless at every age, you deserve skincare that works as hard as you do. And with a JLo Beauty That Timeless Glow, one, and it has one mask in it. So, I'm gonna use, oh, that'll be a really good night 
night care routine. I love her packaging. Everything's so pretty. JLo Beauty, that blockbuster hydrating cream. So this would be like a moisturizer. What's that? It has a light smell to it. Not much. Like it's not really fragrancy. It's like it's really light. It's really like it smells good though. Let me see how it feels. Let me rub it on my other hand. Okay. It leaves like a soft feel. Very soft feel. It feels very hydrating and moisturized. I like it. But yeah, I'm gonna do a video on it, but the box opening, me and you. The last thing she sent me was some SPF, and it is JLo Beauty that big screen. So some SPF, little ASMR. I don't smell anything, so there's no smell to that. And this is what that looks like. And let's rub a little bit on the in our hand. Ooh. I like the shimmer it gives. It gives like a very glow, a good glow. One of y'all can, you can see how glowy it is. That'd be a good SPF. And it's coming around that time. Springtime's coming up and summer. You're gonna be outside. But you gotta use that SPF. I don't care what color you use. You need your SPF. Back to makeup. We got our base on. I'm going to set my under eye and my nose. Everything that I everything that I concealed. That's what I'm gonna set. I just got this. I used it a few times, but it's from Maybelline Lasting Fix and Shade Banana. We need to get that brush that we just concealed with to put a brighter color honestly up under my eye i'm gonna go in with that elf camo concealer and do my inner eye brighter put like a dot right there And you just want to blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Because y'all let me know also what kind of videos do y'all like um, to see more? Like, do y'all like to see me do more makeup videos? Or do you like more of the hair styling or hair care videos? What videos would you like to see more of? And let me know what y'all like to see more of. So I can start creating, focus on like certain type of content so i won't be feeling like i'm all over the place or y'all like to see y'all just want me to keep doing what i'm doing y'all like how i'm doing things you know they say if it ain't broken don't try to fix it we can leave it like it is but what i'm just doing i'm just taking the um banana setting setting powder and you what you want to do is to keep from creasing, you want to look up after you blended it, blended out your concealer again. But you want to just look up, make sure you get under there good. Up. And I'm just going to take this and just like, like this. Give it a good pinch. Yeah, I know, like Michael Jackson bag can't breathe. Alrighty, take that brush I concealed with and blend out the edges to that powder and just pat that in real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go right here. 
down to the bra a little bit. Then we're gonna go right here. Then we're gonna go right here. And right here. And her. Oh. And her. And her. Boom, 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 boom. boom. So we're trying to get to a place where we're moving on to the eyes. The most exciting part of this show. Blend out the edges once again. Blend them out. Pat them out good. Now I'm going to put on my contour, my bronzer. But I'm going to use these brushes that I got from my Ipsy box. We have a um, contour bronzing brush. And this is from... Mmm, Miss Miss Glam, M Miss Glam, I guess is what it is. This, let me show you the brush. It's so cute. That's who it's from. And it's a contouring brush. It has an angle to it. It's so cute. So I'm gonna use this to contour. This is their blush brush. It's so freaking cute. We have a blending brush. Blending brush M05. Thank you, Ipsy. So now I'm going to go ahead and bronze. Use my Juvia's Place. Deep dark. I'm going to go in with this shade up top. Dab it on the back of my hand. I'm just going to go up. Same on the other side. Y'all, um, it is currently, let me see what time it is. It is currently, y'all, it is currently 3.27 a.m. And more than likely, I'm probably not going to go to sleep at all. And I'm going to crash during the daytime after the kids have gotten in school and all that gotten out of school i'm gonna crash and take like a nap or whatever <laughs> it never fails if i have to be up for a while doing makeup or whatever it never fails i do the same thing like i'll stay up all night and then i'll crash like it just hit me like your, my body is like girl what you doing take your butt to sleep I'm just going to hit that bronzer really good like this. Just to set that contour like that. And go into the brow. And then chisel the nose up. Get a little button feel. Okay, and we're going to powder our face with our Maybelline Fit Me. And this is the Matte Poreless Powder. And this is shade 362. Um, truffle. So we're just gonna set the contour here and blend in the concealer with the contour and just go over everything. Give me a cute little blended airbrush, airbrush look. I just like to go over everything like that. Ooh. Yeah, I like my hairstyle. I just, you know what I'm saying? You get tired of seeing the same looks. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wearing a wig. Everybody wearing the same kind of style. And it'll, to me, it'll phase out after a while. Like, cause you remember like back in the day, everybody was doing quick weaves and stuff. And they kind of faded out a little bit. And everybody was doing like wigs. But, oh, I mean, it's the wig or whatever but it's a cute different kind of style of wig you know what i'm saying like it's the mother bringing it back you know what i'm saying i got the 90s vibes going with my little gold chain my big gold chain link earrings you know taking it back to the 90s salt and pepper you know giving those vibes and i'm here for it i'm here for it i hope you are too 
I'm gonna use color palette, y'all. Please don't come for me. <laughs> this palette has had it, okay? And it says orange you glad. I don't know what colors, cause it's faded. It's pretty faded. And then we're gonna use Revolution Neon Palette. And this is Neon Shadow Palette. So we're going to go in with the orange for the cheeks and then the green and yellow under the eye. Okay, I'm gonna use this green and then this lime green to shade it out, okay? So we're gonna start here. She had like a green on the inner corner. I've done some like her, one of her looks a while ago. Like with the under eye look. She's the one that like brought that to life, baby. And I really like it. It was blue, not green. So it was green, huh? And then yellow, and then orange or reddish orange. Uh huh. She did a little blue in the front part of her eye. I'm gonna go in with the crayon case, the matte book. And use the blue out of here. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use that. Let's see what it looks like. Mm, no, I'm gonna go with this one. y'all gotta follow her because she is just so artistic like her art is just is so good like she's just amazing this lime green color right here next but yeah y'all i'm just i feel so blessed beyond any measure like to me like once my car was totaled or whatever um the year the year before last right after thanksgiving and by a drunk driver <laughs> and it's so crazy because we both had the same insurance companies and i did not have full coverage because like i said i just paid off my car so it was just like we couldn't afford the full coverage so we're just like uh we should be okay <laughs> no whatever you do Keep full coverage on your car just in case if anything happens. I'm going go with this ColourPop palette now with the orange. I feel like God, it made it to where I sat down because I never really like, I say I love God or whatever like that and I do, I really do. But I was always on the go and I didn't really, I feel like I was putting like everything else, you know what I'm saying? God is God is there in my life, like, but I was doing so much. It was just like I didn't take time out to just listen to him, listen to what he wanted me to do in life. Like I was trying to make my own path, and I feel like this was his way of saying, like, girl, sit down, let me, let me guide you. And after that, y'all, I swear to God, like, I've been able to, like, when I told y'all earlier, like, discern me, like. I asked for discernment and it's like he actually shows me things like I have visions or dreams or whatever and it's so surreal it's so surreal like I don't know how to explain it okay now I'm gonna go on with this yellow from Crown Face but yeah this supposed to be like a happy 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 time and I am, I'm happy, I'm stoked, especially for that 1K, y'all. Like, I was like, heck yeah, man, I got that 1K, so I just, gonna, just gotta get, um, I just gotta do the rest, you know what I'm saying, do the rest of my other, do my part, and get, like, does that look blend enough, y'all? 
I feel like it looks good. Let's go back and kind of like marry the colors, the yellow. Um, yellow and the orange. And that's a lot. Now it looks like what she did was the rainbow colors. We're gonna use this brush right here, smaller. We're gonna go in with our red. Well, she used maroon, looks like. So we're gonna go with this deep color right here. Okay. All right, it looks like she just went in all the way like this. like to touch the green oh yeah and she got the color she got this blue color and swipe it across her nose she swiped it across her nose like that like a band-aid baby but she brought it down like that yeah yeah and like maybe stop right there yeah okay <laughs> so it's bad all right do the other side and then look like she just blended it out i don't want to make it too like heavy right up in there all right i'm just gonna bring it up you know, like this, so. um, try to keep it level. Yeah, looks even, right? It looks good already, baby. We ain't even getting an else. We're gonna slay this look. Where else did she use the red uh, right here? Ooh, this is so pretty. Mm, spot it up like that man this is super cute i really like it okay and then it looks like she may have done it like this now whether she did this per first part this part first or not i'm not sure she did she does have a, a tutorial on pinterest as well so i'm pretty sure she probably has it on tiktok also Ooh, that's pretty Yeah, speaking of spring break, my kids go on spring break on the first. So whether it's college or like elementary or whatever, have y'all went on y'all spring break yet? If so, if you plan on going on spring break, like where y'all gonna go? Like, fill me in. Maybe I can like mentally travel with y'all, you know? So like I said, I've never been anywhere on spring break. Next, I'm gonna go in with the yellow. She ain't playing with y'all. When y'all are sleeping, do y'all just like randomly start saying stuff or singing or whatever like that? Cause that's what I usually do. Like, like you can tell I'm sleeping. I just be rambling. I just be saying stuff or I just be singing. Oh y'all, I was watching this show last night cause I'm totally into like crime um tv shows like first 48 or missing you know what i'm saying or have y'all seen um that show where this guy he ride on his little boat or whatever and they search the waters for missing people i love that show i sat there and binge watched it last weekend earlier i was watching um nancy grace you know Nancy Gray, she she be touching in on crimes too, like somebody don't got murdered or missing and stuff like that. This one guy came on there because his daughter was missing, and her dog, like she left the house to go, um, cause she normally goes to this coffee shop because she just graduated from college. And so she was searching for a job or whatever, and she would just, you know, to get out the house, she would go to the coffee shop and use their Wi-Fi. 
you know, just um be be out the house, I guess. But this day she took the dog with her, I guess, and never came back. On that second day, her um daddy called and reported her missing because they didn't hear from her or anything. They reported her missing and then later they found her dog near the college and then soon after they found her dog they found her they were trying to say like she um she basically was like kind of in this state where she just graduated from college she was having a she wasn't expecting it to be so hard to find a job once she graduated from college and you know it kind of was like they feel like her this is what her daddy was saying like he was saying maybe that's it but he hasn't really had the time to sit down and talk to her because right before the interview with nancy grace he had they had just found her it was so ironic because he was supposed to go on you know just to try to like ask for help to find her and then he found her they found her already and so he was basically saying that's what he thought it was like her just um not being able to find a job soon after college y'all i kid y'all not like i was in that kind of state because for one thing you go to college or whatever and they tell you oh yes if you you if well they told me anyway it was like if you do this um degree then you'll be able to find a job when you graduate baby i ain't been able to get not one job with my degree and i really feel like it was a waste of money a waste of my time this is just me from my personal experience i'm not trying to knock any kid from going to college i do promote college i tell my kids like go to college experience college life because i did not experience college life i wish i would have experienced college life you know lived on the dorms um you know all that good stuff i did not get a chance to do that so i and it wasn't because i was pregnant or it was just i was afraid to leave home i was afraid to leave home because that's how we were brought up to be afraid to travel the world and that's why i ain't went nowhere it was just a mindset of leave you leave you won't have nobody to help you you won't know nobody <laughs> that's fine that's fine start <laughs> that is fine you'll be okay you'll meet new people and half of the time Half of the time, um, to be the main people to help support you, people you don't know, okay? Her dude was like basically saying that, like, she probably was hit with that reality, like, dang, I can't get a job, baby. I was hit reality too, and it made me sad. I'm like, dang, I wish I would have did my research more to see like what was needed in the um work field, like, see. Ya. That's my story. Now what I'm doing is just cutting my grease. I'm coconut oil. I'm here. And it looks like she did like that. And then brought it up to there. And then what I'm gonna do is get my Q-tip. Clean it up. Okay, now I'm gonna take my elf. Camo concealer, and then I'm gonna get my flat brush. Who else make faces like when y'all doing y'all makeup? Do y'all be making like y'all might be wild? We making all these faces and stuff, and y'all trying to concentrate. May not be exactly like hers, but we trying to we created the best that we can. Yeah, and she. Okay, it's close. All right, now I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this flat brush and try to like. 
Ugh. This is gonna be hard. Okay, let me see. So it looks like she did like, Ooh, I'm scared. We use the side of it. Oh, that's so fat. We're just gonna have to go with it. To be our guide. That's our guide. I'm gonna go with my Plantoid Pro Face Palette. Paint palette <clears throat> with white. Boom. Like, rounded it off. And then she took this. Oh. Maybe she didn't take it up that far. Oh. And then. Okay, let's take a moment of silence and be quiet so I can concentrate. So let's play some background music, shall we? <laughs> this, this is difficult. I'm just gonna make it like, I don't know, we making a star or star. -er. I wish you are, are. -er. Please tell me that look like a star. Please tell me that look like a star, y'all. I'm like, who are looking at stars? Inside the star right here. So what y'all think so far? Just gotta put on some lashes and stuff. We almost done. I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Mascara. So I'm gonna pop that on real quick. Ooh, look at that. Look at that wand. It's so cute. This is like so freaking cute. So let's see what it's doing. How it's gonna do these lashes. I don't know y'all, but like when I'm doing like looks like this, I don't like to do liner on top of it. I feel like it's gonna take away from the look. So I'll do like um mascara to get all the powder off the lashes i like that it's small and refined and it's not like really thick and and chunky like it's really small and you can 
get that top layer. I mean, bottom. We can get that top and bottom lid. Oh, yeah. I should have put this on earlier, but this was in my Ipsy bag as well. It's called Lip Gloss Blissful. I'm going to put it on just to moisturize my lips real quick. Oh, what the color? Uh, I'm just dab it on here. Oh. It's a lip gloss. But it has more like a lipsticky, like a... Oh, yeah, I'm just put it on real good, but I'm going to wipe it off. I just want y'all to see what it looks like. Oh, it's supposed to be a lip gloss, but... It can be like a lip tint color, a lipstick color, more than a lip gloss, but it's pretty. Ugh. It's not bad looking. I got these from Shein. I don't know what time it is, y'all. It is currently 5.01 a.m. Oh, I'm supposed to do my blush. I'm gonna do orange. I'm gonna use the ColourPop palette. And this is the, I, I didn't use the blending brush. Let's blend it out with the orange, let's see. So I can say I used it. <laughs> so that's, oh, oh, she pretty. Yeah, she pretty. Blend it together. All right, now let's get our blush brush. I'm gonna go in with this on the apple of my cheeks and then this to blend it like out. Just right there. On them apples, baby. And then we're gonna like that. Oh my god, y'all. This whole time I've been talking to y'all and my storage was full. Oh my god, y'all on the phone just stopped recording. I don't put on my lashes. That's all I done. Oh my god, y'all, it cut off on me again. All right, so I use this liner to put my moles on. It's from my Ipsy bag. It is the Defiance Beauty. And I also went ahead and lined my lashes with it. So yeah, but this is what it looks like. It has a felt tip. And this is the box to it, Defiance Beauty. It's very cute and it's in shade Carbon Black. Alrighty. Anywho, let's move on to what color we need. Okay. I'm gonna keep this same color on my lip. I think this is really cute. I'm just gonna line it with the brown. <laughs> Finger. 
So, okay, y'all. That's the end. No, it's not. I didn't do no highlighter. So, I'm going to put this highlight on from Wet n Wild. It is shade Mega Glow. It's a loose powder. Pet, pet, pet. on this look because I really ooh, I can't put none right now I put a little bit right here right here um, period this setting spray came out of my Ipsy bag as well it is called Get a grip, okay? Get a grip with yourself. Like, we don't have time for all the nonsense. Get a grip. But it is supposed to grip your makeup, make it stay, control the oil, all that good jazz. So we gonna see. I'm not gonna wipe this makeup off. Like, usually I'll wipe off my makeup and go, to bed like right after but I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit because it's almost 7 a.m. So let's hold on let's spray it this way first. Yeah. It's one in my mouth though. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Me and my beauty blender. Everything in. Set everything in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nazera. Nazera, I see you, boo. This look is fabulous. But yes. So, what do I think? Tell me what y'all think. Y'all like it because I love it. I hope y'all do too. And I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. And shout out, make me over. I love, love, love y'all. Y'all got me some 1k, and I am rocking with y'all. And I know you rocking with me. So just keep watching, keep tuning me, and keep pumping me up to keep me inspired to do more makeup looks i have more makeup looks in store to come for you all so don't be just i want y'all to wait by the notification bell for me because i hope you got them on so you know when i post and i'm gonna try to keep my posts regular my normal schedule is supposed to be tuesday thursday and saturday so I'm trying to still post on those days, whether it be a short or long form video, but this one is gonna drop for you uh, tomorrow. No, I'm gonna drop it on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it on Tuesday. But thank you guys so much. And if you ever need any advice or tips or anything regarding content creating or makeup beauty advice i can only give you what i know as far as experience firsthand for myself because i'm not a professional i am self-taught so whatever i know i try to drop the gems for you you know so thank you guys i appreciate you all 
if you're not subscribed i really hope that you do subscribe and join the family and i am going to post in my community a vote on what you guys as my community want to be called like what name can we come up with i need a name and ingredients so i can be like hey make me over film hey glam girls something we gotta come up with a name y'all what do y'all want me to call y'all but we're gonna put that in the community keep rocking with me i'm gonna keep rocking with y'all i love you guys so much stay tuned for my next video make sure you like comment and subscribe and keep your girl going i love you bye